another video if you guys don't already know my name is Zach and this is my channel so uh, we are down here for round three so it is Friday today practice qualifying and then we're gonna go straight into battles tomorrow we are down here at Manfield in the Manawatu and as you guys can tell it is raining outside typical Manawatu weather moving forward Gonna go out, get some practice in. I think we're gonna be qualifying in the rain. Yeah, hopefully it's fucking bloody fun. Hey! Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I prefer the drive, but. Yeah, but drive's good, but to test out the car, I think the rain's on. Oh. And he's got a new car today. So he's been in the build for, what, what probably a couple of years? Yeah. Now. So it's actually quite weird seeing this car out of the garage. Yeah. First time I saw it on the trailer and then I, I helped them get it off. I was like, shit, it starts. It, <laughs> yeah. work, it works. Does, did it feel normal um, <laughs> getting it out of the shed, but fucking, yeah, got it all running. Chicken air fine turbo, done the tire and everything together to make it perfect. And actually it's on now. We'll go out there, get some practice and then uh, send it for qualifying. I'll see you guys out on track. some battle practice and I had a bit of a whoopsie with uh, with Keske he's <laughs> done a pop my bumper and my headlight popped it out and my bumper's a little bit cracked but I think that's fixable so we'll chuck it all back together and uh, get back out there so on the next run we're gonna switch the direction to the normal layout and then straight into qualifying So we're waiting for a score to come through as we see. Zach Zayden. Zach Zayden, Zach Antics. Drift Antics on the side of the S15. Two down to the bonnet. 64.3 is first run. We'll be trying to improve from that. 
big handbrake on entry there. I don't know if the judges That's are good. allowing that. The handbrake yeah. on oh. entry. <laughs> As he flicks into the sweeper. Grabs that zone, stays off that ripple strip to avoid the spin, especially in the rain. Coming out to that zone, can he keep it together? See the Japanese riding on the blue side of the door there. I said to him, what does that say? And he said, it says, drift antics, Steve. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory there, Steve, yeah. actually. <laughs> can he keep it together, finish the lap and improve on a 60.4.3? First half of that lap, like the replay, the first half of that lap was quite tidy. Quite tidy for Zach and just doing what he needs to. Let's have a look who's on the top go. spot. Adam Whitehead takes the top step and it's all important. Kesuke Nag Nagashima sitting there grabbing some points uh, over his equal with Dan Cordwell. I didn't notice yeah. that earlier, so second and yeah. third. Uh, Kesuke Nagashima sits here in second. Justin Patterson, Sam Rawson, Jason Wu. Good start up for him in the uh, in that beautiful Eurofighter. Manny J in seventh place from Zach Zayden, Luke Trapasaya, and then Daniel Edwards sitting in the top 10 spot. As we go to the second page, Isaac Allridge, 11th position from Braden Meir, Daniel Smith, Rody Knowles, Sam Edinburgh, Daniel Crinkle, Ryan Parry, Aidan Daly, Aaron Habib, and James Jeffries. There's going to be a few ones down the bottom here, unfortunately. Matt Coteau on a one. Jody Bell, unfortunately, on a one. Matthew Brown with a one. And Nathan Williams with a one. Alrighty, guys, that is the day done and dusted. Um, what are you doing? Yeah, it's got a <laughs> minor oil <oily. laughs> Is that because <laughs> built it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've done this part. Oh, you done this part? <laughs> How did you qualify and go? Yeah, man. Learned it. Yeah, exactly. Full yeah, sentence of that first. Oh, oh there's an oil leak. Nah. I'm going to top the cam sound. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he knows what he's doing. He's a, he's a mechanic. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know what I got. Um, do you know what I got, Sol? Eight. 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 Seven? Seven or eight? Seven. Seventh, still. Oh, we'll refresh it. Eight. 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 Yeah, okay, so I got eight, so. I think that's still a uh, buy run, maybe. So I'll have to check, but I'll get back to you guys. Um, well, for me, it'll be tomorrow, but for you, it'll be in like 30 seconds. So, anyway, that is practice, qualifying done and dusted. We've got the whole weekend ahead of us. Let's just get ready to send it. I'll fill you guys in on the go tomorrow. See you guys in the morning. Oh, good morning. So we just had a uh, fuel line burst on us right before practice. We had to get one session. So the fitting has like just popped off. So anyway, it's, it's fixed in dairy. I just washed it down with some water. We'll get out there for our quick practice session. Well, this is the second half of the battle time now, or second half of the second battle, sorry, left-hand side of the tree, and it's Zach Zayden going up against Dean Young. Issues for Dean Young over uh, overnight. He did not qualify yesterday, had to come through and qualify this morning. That's correct, Dean Young having an ECU issue overnight, his team being on it, and uh, got some parts delivered overnight, and he was allowed, due to the ruling of the two rounds being together, to enter the competition this morning. So, good to see him back out there. VIP. Mozambique, wow, we are global here at uh, the D1NZ, and this is the second battle of the day, left hand side of the tree, Zach Zayden, he qualified in 8th position yesterday, going up against Dean Young, Dean Young had to settle for the last place, uh, he actually had his qualifying this morning, so uh, he was told just drive your car forward and you are going to receive one point, and that is the best you can get, even if you were get to get 100, we're going to give you one. All right, it's Jay-Z versus Jay-Z. It's Sylvia versus Sylvia, as they'll get ready to take on this challenging weather conditions here of Manfield Circuit, Chris Amon, round three of the Pro Sport Championship, part of the Repco D1NZ. Here we go, Dean Young, trying to get on the attack on the sweeper on his chase run. Zach Zayden with a nice lead line there through that challenging sweeper. As he switches through splash, he's on a pretty good line, giving a pretty good lead for Dean Young to be able to chase. 
will come through and switch. And this part here, yesterday we saw every car putting a wheel off and uh, well, we've seen it again. Probably easier in the chase position not to do that because there's a car in front of you. They make their way outside of the hairpin and they'll roll in burnout through the link flags to finish the lap. This one here, well, that's probably the best uh, best battle we've seen so far today. <laughs> Out of the three runs we've seen, definitely. Here we go on the replay. Dean Young trying to get up in the attack on Zach Antic's driver's door as they switch through the space. With a little bit of a correction there from Dean Young in the chase. Looks like he's doing a bit of wheel work through that window. He pops back up onto the driver's door here of Zach's car to come through as Zach drops that wheel. It's going to get that deduction we were talking about yesterday. He'll come through to close up. So Zach, a nice job to finish the lap. Dean trying to c continue that uh, that proximity. And it's a shutdown. You can see the chucker out the window. Well, it goes down to the hands of Launchmaster <laughs> Willie, getting his spirit fingers going with the Manarist of Mana Waves. Run two of the day, second run of this battle. It's car 14 is Dean Young, 786 is Zach Zyden. Zyden in the chase position for the second half of their battle. This is top 32 for the Pro Sport Championship. And of course, if you are watching at home, just a Send us, a, send us a photo, whatever, post up a pic, make sure it's uh, public, hashtag D1NZ. All right, well, we're straight into action for Dean Young. Drags through, sets himself up, and here comes the lunge. Zach Zayden trying to launch himself up onto Dean's passenger door. There's a little bit of separation as they come through the second half of Splash. Is Dean Young going to keep on the track? Will we seeing the wheel drop? He makes it through. This is a tidy lead run from Dean. Quick snatch of the uh, handbrake that settles the car down just a bit so they can go and power out through the end of the circuit. And well, I mean, which way are we going to look? Let's have a look at the lap. The great lead run from Dean, very good arc on the sweeper. He's bringing it into the touch and go, he gets that quite nicely. Putting on the nice lead run so Zach can get right up onto that door. Looks like Zach has piled on a little bit too much angle coming through to splash, which is the result has been detrimental from getting out to that other clip. He's had to shortcut the track a tiny bit to get back into the proximity with Dean. Dean's just putting on a great lead run for Zach as they finish the lap. All right, well, here we go. The result is coming through. Andrew Redwood, Joel Counter, and JT Farido, and that is an OMT. We are going again. Yeah. He's been told, just get out of there, get out of there. That's good, Steve. That's what we want to see. Some sunshine, dry this track out. That rain, stay away for the rest of the day so we can see some action. Here we go. We're on a rerun. An OMT of Zach Zayden and Dean Young. Zach Zayden to lead out the first pass. Let's see if we can get a tidy battle between these two boys. Out. Zach Zayden to be on the left hand side of the cones. That's the lead car side of the cones. Chase car obviously on the right. So we see Dean Young getting up to avoid the slingshot. Here we go, Zach Zayden accelerating into the section. Big handbrake initiation. Gets wide on the sweep of Dean, Dean Young in the pocket. Sitting there struggling a little bit, Dean Young in the chase. Zach Zayden being a little bit slower than he would think. Grabbing that out of clip, Dean Young doing a pretty good job up until that point. Commentator's curse. <laughs> Slight correction for uh, the drifter antics driver, Zach Zayden, and he is well and truly off his, uh, off his clip. Coming through that section just prior to the hairpin, so I guess we'll look at that in the replay. Bit of a messy battle there. Yeah, messy it was. So we'll come through and uh, you can see both drivers holding good lock. You can see the slightly shallower angle, which is all about proximity for our chase driver. As we see the Zach Antics, Zach Zayden. And at this point here, he needed to bring the car a lot further up. We see a correction there, a lot further off. Now he's able to grab that clip, but... Yeah, there's the mistake from Dean Young there as they come out of a, out of the zone at two. Hitting into three. A correction in the chase looks like Dean Young's car is quite gripped up in the chase. Somebody just said, uh, when are you entering D1, Kim Thorley? She said maybe one more season of Trish South and then she's coming to D1. But she has to do that if she does them both. All right, let's see how this battle goes. It's Dean Young's turn to play leader. 
Zach Zidon will have to get into that chase position around the outside of the cones for our lead driver. Of course, that is determined by qualifying position. The first part of the battle will always be the high qualifier, and that 1.5 JZ kicks himself into life and gets straight into action. Here we go, Dean Young doing a really good job on that sweeper. Zach Zidon with a little bit to catch up in proximity, as he does throughout his own one. Now Dean Young creating another bit of a gap. Throughout his own two, out to three. It's a nice lead run from Dean Young. A lot better for Dean. What did Dean do when he was last here at Manfield? I think he borrowed a car. And what happened to that car? It got T-boned. It got T-boned. <laughs> but now back in his car, looking great, that Dean Young car. Let's see the replay. Well, Dale ITM bringing us the replays of all the action out here on track. And it was an aggressive uh, chase for Zach Zidon. Zach Zidon doing a good job through that first clip. And just losing a bit of proximity going up to OZ3. As they come to finish the lap. But Dean Young definitely in an advantage on that lap. And it's now up to the judges to see how they're going to sway for that first pass. And there goes our amazing judges. So what have they got on their hands? That's how they deliberate and make the decision of who's going to go through. So you'll see them go, and you'll see Joel's obviously gone through. He's going to go and have a look at maybe what his results will say. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting. They course. take a lot of notes. They have a look at different things like that. And then after that, they'll deliberate by sending the score through. Checking the replays. A lot of this decision will be weighing on that first pass and the mistake at OZ3 from Dean Young. Was it caused by Zach or did Dean do it all on his own? Here we go. There we go, Zach Zayden. Sorry about the poor albatross moves, mate. Uh, congr congratulations, uh, good lead. Yeah, cheers, mate. Um, yeah, the weather's not really playing ball. It went from wet to dry, and uh, now we're just going to run with dry setup. Hopefully, the weather gods play uh, play ball with us. Don't complain about dry weather, mate. <laughs> yeah, it gets a bit hard, though, Steve. You know, Monday or two brings four seasons in uh, one day. Love it. Get in there. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Go next battle up. What have we got coming through? Zach Zayden and uh, Luke Chipsayer. Anyone who writes OET on the uh, on the footage, I'm happy to sad react it. <laughs> Rightio, here we go. Zach Zayden in the lead. Luke in the V8 powered Sphero in the chase. And shout out to Pete Driver, ABC Drift for Kids, Pro Sports New Book this uh, weekend. Teach him how to drift. Let's see if we can get a clean battle. B is for battle. C is for come on, let's not have an OMT. Well, it is uh, the greatest moustache in the D1NZ, Sam Rawson. It's not. Zach Zayden in the lead here with Luke Chabasuria. As we see Zach accelerating, big gap created already as he initiates into the sweeper. Smooth and wide arc there from Zach. He's doing what he needs to do. So definitely some mess, messy driving behind from Luke. Zach Zayden just needs to finish this off to grab a 10 0 advantage. Can he finish the lap as he gets out? Nowhere near out of zone two. All he is doing is finishing off the lap to grab those points. All over on the sweeper for Luke Chappell. As we see the replay here, Zach Zayden doing what he needs to do in the lead. Luke, a big straight line in the chase, doing it all on his own, no mistake from him in front. And in turn, hands it to Zach Zayden. All he needs to do is finish the section to grab himself 10 points and move on with a heavy advantage into the second pass.
That's where they're letting them go. Zach Zayden in the chase. They stop around. Luke in the lead. V8 powered A31 Safira. Luke's going to have to put on a pretty stellar lead run here to try and claw some points back. And Zach Zayden's going to need to make a mistake in the chase run. Here we go. Luke gap being created already. As Luke fires in on the sweep of Zach Zayden. Oh, gosh. In the chase. Mistake there from Luke in the front. Very slow, and he's pulling out. Zach Zayden, all he needs to do here is shut it off, and he'll be going through without making any contact or risking the vehicle as we see Luke spinning it out. And that would be Zach Zayden going through into the top eight. This is... Uh, I just don't know how to put it. Is there a way of actually saying something? I mean, when drivers are doing nothing but practicing in rain and things like that, there's a massive jump between that and the grip of a, of a dry track. Definitely is. But uh, we saw yesterday the, the Pro Sports putting it down. It's pretty damn good laps there. Good qualifying for the conditions was pretty good. We thought the, 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 the Pro could have been a little bit better. The Pro Sport driving was almost better than the Pro yesterday, or was. And now today, it's, uh, it's definitely a, a different show of driving to what we saw in qualifying. Well, I mean, we, uh, everyone drove superbly in qualifying as well. We didn't have uh, very many uh, one-point runs. So I think we've actually got a battle on track. So uh, Zach Zayden is going to take the win, and I think we're going to jump through. Alrighty, guys. So just finished our top 32 and our top 16, and now we are in the top eight. Um, tires and gas, and we'll just keep sending. See if we can take this home, baby. Two more battles. Let's go. T1NZ.com, .com, .com. Yeah, come and check us out if you want to come along and check out the action. There's only one place to be, and that is at Mercury Bay Park Stadium in Mount Monganui in Tauranga as we head to the Bay of Plenty for the final. So, there's an issue with one of the drivers there. It is Sam Rawson. He is ready to go, but there's an issue for Braden Maher. That's an OMT battle. So, a five-minute call has been called. You know what? We're not going to wait around for that. Let's go straight back into action. This is the first of our top eight battles from the left-hand side of the tree. It is Adam Whitehead going up against Zach Zayden. Adam qualifying P1 yesterday in tricky conditions. He's a great driver of that Plan BS14. Zach Zayden driving pretty pretty well this weekend. Should be a good battle. I definitely cannot wait to see this one here as we get to the pointy end of the Pro Sport Championship. And uh, there's definitely been a massive temperature drop here at Manfield. So of course with temperature drops comes a colder or a differing temperature of the track. When you're out there trying to work it out, and I can, I know that I understand that an umbrellas have gone out as well. Steve McIver, look at you go. Looks stunning. Just, yeah, there he is. What a man. And the, the wiper blades are on. Let's see if it affects this run as we see Adam Whitehead initiating. Zach Zayden jumping into that pocket. We don't see any smoke. We see it looks slippery on that sweeper. Well, Zach Zayden, who we know he likes to fight back. That car there has been in the D1NZ for a few seasons now. He used to be in the Pro Championship. Came out of the South Island with uh, Michael Sloan, who's now part of the VIP team. And you will see him slide the car around, works his way up the track, and then try to back it through. Heading up to the end of the hairpin. Clean lap for our leader. Clean lap for our leader, that's it. And a challenge we saw on that sweeper on his initiation. And the moisture in the ground, there was no tyre smoke. Adam Whitehead out there. Quite wide on the sweeper, as you see the replay. And that's a beautiful look right there. That's how you get the nice angle. I'd like to pinpoint that sort of stuff there, but it's uh, out on the gas. The second half of this lap looks, like, looks to be fully dry. Both these lads doing a great job. Zach Zayden emulating the angle and the transitions of Adam White hits in the chase run. And getting through for a clean lap for both drivers. Water droplets on our camera there. Thumbs up and off we go. So this is the Mimico Top 8. 
round three of the Ripco D1 International Drifting Championship here at Manfield. Circuit Chris Amon and it is Zach Zyden who will set the pace. Second half of the battle. Braden Mayer, I understand, has made it with one minute to spare. So we'll see that battle come through to find the last spot on the eight between himself and Sam Rawson. But right now it's the battle on hand and it is Zach Zyden who leads out. He's got, oh, a bit of a correction, but it is Adam Whitehead in the chase position. Zach Zyden grabbing both of the, grabbing that first zone quite well, moving through splash into outer zone two. Adam Whitehead putting on a pretty good chase run here as they head up into the last corner. Well, they'll come through to finish, and then it will be that they both hold their... See, Zayden almost, so he didn't really get on the gas probably as fast as he needed, needed to, coming out of the last turn, coming out of the hairpin. Um, we'll go up and have a look. And it's a slight correction for Adam Whitehead in the wide S14, but they set themselves up, and that seems to be just a, maybe a proximity grab. Two very similar runs in chase and in lead. This could come down to, to the decision, could come down to just that minor mistake that we see Adam Whitehead made on that sweeper. Look at Dan, he's waiting to go again. And just needs 66% of the vote. And Andrew Redwood, JT Fodido, they say Zach Zayden takes the win. Zach will be going through. Okay, how good was that, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, once again, Steve, the weather gods are playing games with us again. Stop bringing that up, mate. Stop <laughs> bringing it up. It's clearing up behind you. Mate, you're through to the four. Yeah, let's go. Let's send it. Oh, I love that. Let's send it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Adam Whitehead, remember, top qualifier. Uh, these drivers, these guys that are pushing their cars to the limits as we're going to see some some epic battles in pro. You need to keep the, the reliability of that vehicle to get it through for some more championship points tomorrow. And reliability is something that's already plagued us for the uh, yesterday in qualifying. We've had a couple of drivers uh, that couldn't make it today. And uh, that's been in both the pro sport and the pro field. The pros, they've managed to find new cars and bits and pieces. And we'll talk about that as the day goes on. Zach, that's a, such a slow start, but maybe that's to do with the weather, and he also wants to get the slingshot on Daniel Smith, who probably uh, transitions into drift maybe a little bit sooner than Zach does. Yeah, it's definitely wet on the first section of that sweeper as we hear the tyres gripping up. Oh, no, we wet the whole track, so definitely a big challenge for these boys. Haven't driven a, uh, a wet lap since this, this morning, being in the groove, being in the zone, but Zach Antic's doing a good job here in the lead. Actually, both drivers doing a fantastic job to get through this section well, for conditions that they don't know. Very nice lead run in the conditions and a great chase run, and that's where there's obviously grip because the rain hasn't got there yet. Great chase run there from D Smith. So Zach doing a, a rather good job in the lead also. All right, well, let's have a look at this lap here. Zach, I think he did a great job considering the current conditions. He comes through, just drags across uh, drags across the outside of that uh, outer zone, and then he makes his way through, and he'll set himself up for Splash. So Splash is the centre one, and that actually comes through to the tail end. We're going to make our way back out into the, uh, the outside, head around the uh, hairpin, and then it's straight down onto the gas to finish. That's it. Look, as we see some tyre smoke coming from Daniel Smith's car, it's definitely a, a little bit of grip at the ending there. Just had a couple of uh, our VVIPs come through and, uh, and check out what's going on before they head up into the broadcasting truck. Daylight here bringing us all the action in this beautiful overhead shot. I've just realised we haven't seen the drone for a while, so I think George has just got some repairs to do, hasn't he? It looks like he's gone offline. <laughs> Maybe going offline up here, but as we see, the last of this replay between Zach and Daniel as they line up for their second run. Swapping around, Daniel Smith being the lead. And they'll kind of know what the conditions are of the track. They've just had a, they've just had a quick lap in the, in the wet on the sweeper. They felt it. And now they can change their, their driving style. Oh, look at Willie go. Willie just brings smiles. All right, DK Smith excavation. Daniel Smith, what can you do? The 411 and Daniel Lyman's S13 going up against Zach Zyden. Drift Antics, check him out on YouTube. They'll be side by side as they accelerate, and it will be Daniel Smith who will set them alight to start the second run. Yeah, Daniel Smith creating a little bit of a gap here on entry as he's initiated. 
Looks like the rain might have gone. Oh, no, he's slippery. He's slippery. He's out wide in the sweeper, but he comes, but gets back into the touch and go and grabs out his own one as he transitions through, through Splash. Just grabs out his own two quite nicely as he switches up the hill. Keeps it on the track Keep as well. Keeps it on the track. One little wheel drop as we see Zack Zadon jump in the, the chance to get some proximity to finish the lap off. Runs it high and then comes through to finish. And a grip up to finish down the back straight. I don't know which way I'd go on this one here. That's a tough one. That, that is a tough one. They look like two very similar leads, two very similar chases. So the judges up there possibly jumping into another replay. Nice commitment from Daniel Smith on this week, but not knowing how much grip he's actually going to have. He actually filled that touch and go quite nicely, but it was maybe more more uh, go than there was with the touch. He grabs that outside and he heads it about this, this way as well. We can see that the slight dirt turbo, and then again setting himself up nicely. Gets right up, not quite as far up as he can, but that little, beautiful little slingshot. We don't see any uh, discoloration as he finishes, so it looks like he's kept it on the uh, on the black stuff. Zach Zayden on the attack in the later half of that of that run. Trying to get up onto that daughter. Yeah. Zach looks like he might have dropped the left front wheel off as well coming through there. And the other one is he's relatively shallow, but that's all about proximity at this point here. So I'd say because he's on the door, the judges are definitely not going to mark him. We don't want to have follow the leader. We'd love to have both of them just side by side the whole way through. Yeah, he's definitely sacrificed a whole lot of his line to get back up into the proximity, whether the judges wanted to want to see that. I don't know, but here we go with the decision. This is a big one. All right. And it's going to be Daniel Smith who goes through and... Oh, this is brilliant. All right, let's talk to Zach. Well, well mate, you're still going to have a crack at third and fourth, so valuable points, right? Yeah, mate. Uh, weather gods once again. Um, no, I... I made it this far right from the bottom, so uh, I'm pretty stoked with myself and my team. We've got a little team going on, so, yeah. And most importantly, up against Isaac Aldrich, so that's going to be a cracking battle. Yeah, sweet. Oh, I'll bring it on. Let's go. I don't know. I had another battle, so thank you. Well, mate, you've got a little bit of time off because we're going we're gonna to play this after two or live on Sky Sports, so just go, go prep your head, prep the car, and get good to go. Sweet, let's go. All right. Cheers, mate. Well, there it goes. This is the battle tree. This is the way they got there. So, of course, in the final, in the Repco final, we'll see Daniel Smith versus Keske Nagashima. We've just seen the battle that he had in the Allied top four with himself and Zach Zayden. He had a great win against Braden Mir in the Mimico top eight, and he started with the Justin Patterson win in the top 16. We got a Keske Nagashima. He just took the win over Isaac Horridge in the four. He went through Rody Knowles in the eight, and then it was, uh, where was he? He's in the top 16. Well, ladies and gentlemen, everyone that's uh, tuned in on YouTube and of course on Facebook. Thanks for tuning in today. If you want to see more, head across to Sky Sport. But right now, this is Drift Antics Motorsport. Check out Drift Antics on YouTube. Zach Zayden in that uh, gorgeous looking Nissan S15. Travelled with us all over New Zealand over the last few months, whether it be with the Drifting or with the Super Sprint Motorsport New Zealand Championship. But right now, this is the battle for third and fourth. Drift Antics. Drift Antics. Third and fourth battle, obviously. In our little break we've had there, we've had some, some more rain come down. The track's going to be a little bit more slipperier than what they're probably used to from their last battles. It's going to get interesting. It's going to get interesting. Isaac Aldridge driving fantastically in that Drift Direct BMW today. Just talking to him before, and he said he's just, just feeling it. Just feeling it. So. Well, a lot of these drivers here, we've seen them go towards the furthest they've been in a... Uh, at a D1NZ Pro Sport sort of championship. They get to do it all over again when we turn them around tomorrow and we get ready for round four as they go to the hands of Launchmaster Willie. The battle earlier on this morning, if you're joining us on Sky Sport, we've had it playing through live streaming on our social pages, but now we hit the big boys at the best time. And it is ready for our pro sport battle for third and fourth positions. Zach Zayden in the blue Nissan S15 will lead out Isaac Orridge in the BMW. It's an E92 and they'll start grabbing gears and get ready to go. Here we go. It's going to be a slippery entry. Zach Zayden grabs on that handbrake and enters in. Both entering 
pretty well. Dealing with this slow free sweep. Look at the speed difference now. It's way slowed down. Zach Antex grabs that out of zone one. Switches nice, nicely through splash. And just grabs out of zone two as well as he heads on up to three. He makes his way back through and he needs to comb through and basically grind that white line. Set himself up and get basically from here, it's an inside outside as he grabs that inside and then powers through the circuit as we see Isaac Orridge manages to hold on and a big gap between himself. Too much of a gap for me for Isaac. That might be his downfall in this battle. They started off pretty close together, but Zach Zayden just drove away. A little less angle from Zach Zayden on the... So at this point here, there's a yellow box. We want to see the cars go inside, outside. When I say inside, I mean the front of the front wheels and the back wheels. They'll set themselves up. You can see a couple of blue cones at that point. And then we want to see the cars come through. At this point here is another outside zone before another outside here, where you'll see the, again the blue cones. The cars will start to diamond off the turn. They'll make their way down and then power further up, finishing on the right-hand side of the track. The Link ECU flags dictate the outside, uh, sorry, the exit or the finish of the circuit as we go through that Dale ITM uh, sweeper, switching through. There we go, Zach Zayden grabbing a whole lot of those E1 as he makes his way to two. Nice, keeping off those ripple strips where they are super slippery in the back of these drift cars when the rain hits. Well, they're sli slippery today, they're going to be aggressive tomorrow because, of course, these ripple strips, the rumble strips, there's only a couple of different types that you can have in the world, and these ones, I can't remember the name of it, but they're about a 50 mil uh, is what the height is of that rumble strip that they go through. It's designed for a car to take in a Ford's direction. They're a little bit more aggressive when you switch them around and turn them around. We do this at the likes of Topol International Motorsport Park, and we'll be doing it this weekend here at Manfield. Might see some smashed wheels tomorrow. Always do with a new rim for my uh, man cave. Well, Launch Master Willie says, I've had enough of you guys hanging out with me. You better get out on the track. Again, this is a battle for third and fourth position. This is round number three of the Repco D1NZ Pro Sport Championship. The pros will be out in only a couple of battles time. And there's definitely a lot to talk about in the Pro Championship. Switching around here, Isaac Aldridge. Very slow out of the, the cone turn as we're heading up into the initiation. Let's see how Zach Zayden's going to deal with it in the chase run. Well, Zach was very late to transition into drift, so whether or not he gets marked down from there, not a bad way. You know, hit that outside coming through splash or that, that touch and go. Some good proximity here, though, from Zach Zayden. He's doing a good job in the chase run. Isaac, Isaac though, putting on a very, very good lead. This has been two great lead runs, Steve. Well, I mean, they both have been uh, given the privilege of being led out really, really well to have a great chase run. It's always requires a leader to do the best job up front, and I think both of these guys have been given that blessing as they head down the Denny Holm Strait here at Manfield. They'll come down and see Stephen MacGyver. Let's go up and have a look at what the tape says. Yeah, got a feeling the judges are just having a look at Zach's entry there. He entered a little bit late. When we talk about a late entry, if he doesn't come through fast enough and basically get that car sideways, he'll be deemed to have straight line the car. And if that's the case, it doesn't matter what he's doing right now, because what you did at the start is going to be enough to ruin it for the rest of your lap in the form of you will be zeroed out. So though I have a look at that one there, everything else I think you did was all right. Maybe a couple of bobbles, a couple of corrections here and there, but definitely a bit better than what we saw earlier on in the day. So that's the point there that they were looking at. Right there, that with Zach Zayden right at the start of the section, he just didn't have it in drifting in time, I don't think, but it's definitely going to be a downfall on a great chase run of Mimic King, Isaac Aldridge. Doesn't take it away though, Isaac Aldridge did have a great lead run. And you can see just how on and off the throttle they are. You know, as we see in drifting, it's basically on the gas hard. That's what the marks you see on the rear wheels are. What they do is they give us an indication up in the, well, when I say us, I mean the judges, they can see when the car's on and off throttle. The pros, they're all parked up on the right and they're ready to go out. We'll go through and see who's gonna take the first spot on the podium. Will they decide or can they not? Will they go again? three decisions in drifting one is driver one one is driver two and if the judges cannot decide they will go and call it a one more time battle we'll talk about that during the day and here it goes andrew redwood joel counter and jt farido zach Zayden will go and take the spot third place is his that was you getting excited right now i get that well done. <laughs> how, how good does that? Can I just open your door a bit, mate? How good does that feel? Yeah, real good. Um, like I said, we 
you know, started right at the very bottom, top 32, made our way up to third. Um, we're happy with it, me, my wife, little baby. Uh, How old's Bubs? She's seven months. Um, better watch her, she's gonna be the next uh, the next Drift King, I'll tell you that. Well, you'd like to be a Drift Queen, wouldn't you, rather than a Drift King? Nah, she, I, I don't wanna go into detail, but um, I feel like she's gonna have a bigger, bigger, you know what, than me, so. Yeah, okay. Well done, buddy. Congratulations, P3. Good points. Just park your car up and get ready for the presentation. Have a chat to Isaac. So, in third position, the trophy is presented by Keith Lewis, one of the very important D1NZ crew. In third position in the Zach Addix S15, please welcome Zach Saito! In the second position in the talk performance, 86. This is Kesuke Kagashima. Four round winner, round three of Repco D1NZ here at Circuit Chris Amon. In the talk performance, S13.5. This is Daniel Smith. Official podium, round three, Repco D1 NZ of Pro Sport. Look what's in front of you, lads. Make some mess because we've got the pros not too far away. Woo! All right. I don't even know where to start because I don't even know where I picked up. It was just battle after battle after battle. And I just had to stay laser focused. I couldn't pick the camera up. And um, now here we are. I'm about to do an outro, but we did it, fam. We got on the podium. Pulled a third place, so that's good. Uh, from the bottom, really. Came from top 32. And uh, yeah, pretty much battled our way through. Had an OMT. Just rain, like, if you, you name it. You name it, it was against us, and um, we did it.